Welcome Welcome. to Omnia. This is supposed to be a test run, um, but if it's good enough, I might actually make it. Hope it makes it. I hope it makes it too. ASMR, 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 ASMR. ASMR. It's a visual-based podcast. If you're listening to us on Apple Music, iHeartRadio, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts, just know that if you go online, you type in Omnia Podcast, there's a whole visual part of this. It took a long time to set up. A lot of people helped us. A lot We're of pretty. people will Sorry. continue to help us. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, That'll they, sell. they said if they want to introduce themselves. <laughs> good eye, um, good eye. It, that's, that's, why we did, that's why we did this visual pace. Yeah, I mean, podcast. there's definitely a lot of layers to it. It's not just a couple of pretty people sitting behind a couple of microphones. There's definitely layers of cameras and audio mm-hmm. and visual and lights and setup and background. Like and Kennedy Anthony just sleeping in her arms right now. Are you kidding me? Right, when you is... said that he woke up and like, looked at him. This is not his actual is... name, by the way, so let's just clear that up. Okay, let's not get into this. I don't know. His, name? He's his name is Kennedy Anthony. I think it was. The third. Yeah. That's not his name. Okay, anyway, my, my name, name is exactly. Timmy. Timmy. And my name is Ashley, and we're sisters, and this is... I'm Eric, and I'll pass it off to the person behind the screens, running the audio, and running the cameras. His name's Yo, for reference. What's up, guys? I'm Yo. What's going on, Yo? Welcome, guys. Welcome, everybody, to our podcast. Yo's, Yo's like an audio major. Like, he went to college for this. You know what I mean? Like, he's he's a professional. Like, he... People come to him to record. He does a lot of stuff with music. Um, mm-hmm. He's been my friend since high school, so I'm super blessed and still know him and, and continue to be working with him. It's awesome to be doing like such a crazy big project, project like this. You know, it, it took, took a long time to set up. Um, it's been a long time in the making. So no, really I do appreciate so. Yo for helping us yes. and uh, and running the whole the whole audio side. I think it sounds great. Um, Unfortunately, and- I cannot um, reveal. Yo's identity. Yo's identity or anything that I have to do with him, so I'll just... We'll have a great reveal at some point. I think this is going to be a positive intellectual podcast where we talk about anything from political views to religion. Um, Yeah, I just think that enlightening people and listening to different people's views on life and, you know, it's all about listening to others and really communicating, I feel, and... I like hearing different people's opinions and aspects on, you know, certain things. I'm sure we're going to fight a lot. I'm sure we're going to curse a lot. But It's definitely going to be a journey. All in good times, good faith, and yeah. positive vibes, like, all around. Totally. Positive vibes. We need to sage this room, actually. And I need oh, to get my little you. things. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what the official uh, name of them are, but they're like little shawls that... A what lot of rock stars, um, Queen. Oh, Fleetwood Mac. Queen, no, Queen used to put it. No, what's the one though? The guy Fleetwood that we Mac. saw performing. He had the long hair. Aerosmith. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. Aerosmith did that. Yes. Yeah. What is what's the lead singer's name? You know, Tyler. Like, Tyler Perry. Babe, can you help us? Is, is that terrible for me to say? Yes. Tyler Perry, the, the black, black, black actor. Yeah. Can you He's like tell? 85. So the Look, thing we got that on camera, right, guys? Totally. I'm the worst with actors. I'll get that straight actor. out. Yeah. Isn't he an artist? I just, I mean, I guess I just named an actor. Steven, Steven, Steven Tyler. Oh, Steven, Steven Tyler. Yeah, Steven Tyler. Okay, so he has these little My dad's going to kill me for that, right? Wow. Rock and roll history out the door. And that's going to be my thing. I'm going to be the first podcaster with Shaw's. Shows, oh, if that's so I need I'm to totally that. copying her so she won't be the only one. Like at least I'll be the first, so <laughs> you won't be. I'll get it before her. I'm gonna order I it on live Amazon here, Pond. Ashley, please. Like, <laughs> you're never gonna do it. Bye. I'll burn yours alive. So <laughs> Kennedy's trying to get out of the podcast. That's and... Nice. Too bad. He's stuck here forever with us until we're done. So I can't see what Yo is wearing right now, but he told us he's gonna be wearing some type of blockage over his face so that we don't see what he looks like this is a two-room podcast so yo's in another room and we're all yeah. sitting at the table um, yo has anxiety so I, and doesn't I don't want to be on camera it yo looks it, be our friend. Friend. <laughs> through the window it looks like he's wearing a tiger head but i don't it kind of looks like he's wearing it on top there's of his also head like 10 really different head. lights like blinding me so i legit cannot <laughs> so i think we should just jump into a topic okay what do you want to talk about you seem like a natural at this <laughs> You're the one that's always in front of the camera. Mm, it's different. What, what's, different? what's different? Yeah, it's different being recorded. 
video wise video wise because there's no you're so sexy there's no pause you there's know? no breaks yeah there's no breaks so anything even if you're flowing it's just whatever comes to mind you have to remember not to sound like an idiot yeah. and you want to sound it's all about slowing down you want to sound professional and smart and not like an idiot <laughs> i feel like the main thing is though is like just don't say anything racist don't say anything like that's gonna offend anybody everything but, offends yeah at least everybody. one person okay but then you should just be f like free with your words you shouldn't just be like constantly thinking about it because then it just like kind of no ruins. but you should be able to have your opinion and and filter through how people can take it and kind right. of find the right words yeah, to really no, get your point across because that is a problem that I have. I just blurt out anything that I really feel and sometimes that's inappropriate and I'm learning to keep that composure to a minimum, hopefully on this podcast. Yeah. Or maybe I'll be wild. Like, but I also just it. feel like it's like, those, if that's how you feel and those are your views and like your morals, like that's just going to come out no matter what. You can only like hide so much behind the camera. Mm. Like, I mean, it's not about think, hiding. But you have to think before you speak, yeah. But it's That's like, if you're life. just going to say blatantly, like, yo, uh, suck a cock or something crazy, Ooh. like, it's Whoa. just, that's, that's just Snikes! what you're going to do. And mom, you're gonna say. mom, she's the bad daughter. I'm the good daughter. I'm the <laughs> angel. She's the I mean, daughter. okay, that's a lie, clearly. I mean, we're going to be talking about some pretty heavy topics on this. I'm not going to lie. Um, if you're watching this, then you've definitely seen our intro you can take it at, with a grain of salt, however you think that conversation is going to steer. But um, that's also something that was worked on with all of us. All, all of us, all of us had a, a little bit of insight on that intro. So um, that kind of gives you a little bit of understanding of the topics that we're going to be talking about or what, what might emerge. But um, I don't think that this is going to be, um, you know, a podcast for for really for young children. children yeah it's not hey, it, listen, it's gonna get pretty wanna, deep you want to be enlightened and involved you know come on come join but wait ask have... your parents permission you know i have something not that for we minors can... wait but i have something that we could talk about we're all trying to plan a trip right us four are try pl pl uh, but <laughs> we're trying to plan a trip so that's something that we could kind of brainstorm and like you know kind of see where we're at because we've all been in different places and we've all been trying to google and etc so any ideas that conversation came up today um and it's funny that it came up today because there's just so much going on behind yep. the scenes um you know we started we started the podcast today um ashley and tiffany are supposed to be moving really soon uh ashley and i just came back from paris it was an awesome trip Definitely recommend going there. Uh, we travel a lot. That's one of our favorite cities. We've only been there once, um, and it's we definitely need to go back. But we are planning a trip. Tiffany brought it up today. Um, and, I mean, if you're listening to this, comment down below. Hit us up. Uh, let us know if there's any cool spots that you've been to. We could definitely visit that. But, um, yo, where, where are you trying to go to? Uh, honestly, I could go for somewhere in the States. I, I always wanted to go to Arizona. Like, I feel like that might be super <laughs> lit. But, yeah, you know, Grand Canyon. Or, I would love uh, you know. that. Has Canyon's anyone awesome. been to Arizona or the no, Grand Canyon? No, but I've seen the Grand Canyon. About the Grand Canyon. Yeah, the and Grand Eric Canyon's is awesome. a photographer, so, like, that's something that's Photographer, just, like, videographer, podcast editor, 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 chief of Vogue. Sure. He literally died <laughs> like, the I'm basic the of <laughs> head of Ikea, creative director of Ikea. A lot of those are be okay, Kennedy. It's gonna <laughs> be okay. He's like, the president, too. He's, like, looking at me like I'm gonna Speaking die. Speaking of the president, I have to pee. We're not gonna get political on the first one, are we? <laughs> Can I pee or would that ruin everything? Bye. I mean, you should, try, you should try and hold that. Let's just see. It's the first episode. It's been like 10 minutes. Okay. How long have we been recording? Because uh, you're so cheap. 11, <laughs> 11 minutes. And baby, I'm a genius. Hold on. You were saying, speaking of the president, I just don't want you to go crazy political, but you can continue. No, I was going to tell the story about my seven-year-old nephew and how his teacher told him he wouldn't be president yes. of the United States of America. Yeah, yes, that's, that's actually crazy. First of all. Crazy. Hold on. She what? My seven-year-old nephew. Right. His teacher told him that he wouldn't okay let me rephrase my words because start with the story start with the story let me tell you the story of my seven-year-old nephew who started back crying in my time. arms with anxiety from his 
first grade teacher. Listen to the story. So I'm dropping him off after the movies. We went to go see Sonic, and he starts like having a fit. Like he's like crying, he's getting upset, he's pounding. I'm like, what's your, what's your problem? What's going on here? You know, Titi, what really bothered me is that my teacher said that I wasn't going to be president of the United States. So I just told him to elaborate and told him ex- to tell me exactly what happened. Long story short, a girl in his class stood up and said, I'm going to be president of the United States. And Henzo got up and said, I'm going to be president of the United States. And his teacher said, Henzo, I think you'd be I think you would be more on a stage type of person rather than the president of the United States. Which is like the same exact thing. Right. You it, could be it, on a isn't stage. the presidency like the biggest stage in the world? Literally, yes. Mm, I guess he took it as like a Broadway scenario. More of like, an, like an actor. Like an actor. Again, yeah. isn't politics kinda like acting? Like as... don't you have to be a really great actor to be a politician? Yeah. It's just not how you are when you're at home. I think the moral of the story is as a first grade teacher, you should be enlightening these children right. to believe that they can do whatever they want. Absolutely. And in reality, it hurt me because it hurt a small child. Um, and he didn't really understand why she said that. Mm. And in my opinion, I really wanted to tell him there's probably never going to be a female president. That's just my own personal opinion. But I disagree, the, by the way. The reality of that in my lifetime, that's just how I feel. That's just what I think. And that's just what history has shown me. So that's right. just what how I feel. But I'm not going to tell my seven-year-old nephew that to... to implement more conflict what i told him is that donald trump never cried bill clinton never cried when these people told him he they weren't going to be president they never cried about it they used that as a tactic and you know he's very young and it's sad and it's weird that a teacher would even say that but the reality is is that this is how school systems are nowadays. When I was in first grade, my teacher said you could be anything. I said, I want to be an astronaut. Well, I, do, she said, I, I do understand, though, where, like, if it is a woman teacher, they are trying to, you know, implement women, femininity, female power, a lot of that things like that. That doesn't mean belittle a, a, a young I'm man. Listen, I'm always going to be on my I mean, did she side. say it to the girl that I said that she wanted to be president? No, she didn't. And, that, I mean, listen, we don't know the story, and Henzo's also very one to... Um, dramatized it doesn't really matter honestly if he said it and she discredited him that's not okay i have been a preschool keep in mind first grade student yeah no that's not okay but i do but i do feel you know i feel like not that i'm agreeing but there is like this social pressure where like women like you know like as a female teacher if you're like you have to kind of do that extra mile for women because they're so discouraged in you, a position like that because there hasn't been a woman president or anything you like can that. boost the morale of a woman but that doesn't mean discredit and belittle a man i agree they're but both I'm on just equal levels they're they not both on equal aspire to be all. big things they're not on the equal levels at all because well, like you who said, are, who are no equal levels? Women and men, female and male, you boy think that, and girl. You think that they aren't on equal levels, I or they're just not? I do not think that women and male are equally. on equal levels at any rate, money wise, respect wise. I mean, there's so many things we could go on and I, on about. I can relate to that. I can completely understand you on that. But generations and millennials are changing this is 2020 anything can happen and i understand where the teacher would be coming from coming from a woman aspect but that doesn't mean belittle that's like saying to a white child you're going to be president and then when the you know a hispanic child says it they say no honey you're going to be an actor you i could see you on stage i mean that's more. literally what happened that's literally literally what happened yeah so in reality you know but you don't know what's happening at home like luckily henzo has a mom and dad that say yeah henzo you're gonna be whatever you want to be and be president and maybe that ch- woman child is confided in the teacher saying hey you know maybe her dad's you know trump he's a trump supporter and he doesn't think that his daughter would ever be president and he's telling her no so it's it could come so many different ways with children and what the teachers really do to support them. I don't think it was done maliciously, but it was done. So that It affected kinda... him, and he cried, yeah. and he broke down to you. So yeah. right. it doesn't matter yeah. what the intent was. Yeah, She should, just like how you said, slowing down, choosing your words, making sure that you're speaking clearly. Things that you might be saying to a kid, you think they're going to be interpreted as an adult is listening to it, but the kid is hearing, no, you can't do this. Yeah. Do this instead. It, it, 
it bottles up and Kennedy wants who, to get out. I think he has to pee. Who knows how long um, he's been feeling that way, and and it finally came out through him breaking down and crying to you. Well, that was the craziest part about it because. You know, when speaking to my brother and my sister-in-law, they were like, if his teacher actually really knew him, they would know that he watches politics every day, every and morning, like, actually. Like yeah, like the political like, debate. politics. <laughs> yeah, he it's wrote funny. actually a letter to Mayor Bloomberg. Literally. he watches him every day in the morning. So, you know, actually get invested with the children you're teaching. It's not a long period to of time. To all our teachers out there. <laughs> you know, respect to the teachers because, one, they don't get paid enough. Right. Two, they deserve more. Right. And three, you know, all my teachers when I was young, they were still buying their school supplies and right. not getting reimbursed for it. And, you know, it's the teachers that have to really deal with the harder students or, students or the harder structured students that may maybe, you know, maybe he is loud in class and he's shit be on stage and but maybe as a teacher you should support that and 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 talk to him aside and you know really see what kind of child he is and what kind of kid is he and does he even know anything about politics and maybe your little ass would get schooled to see how much put on a play you know he does like you know your mom got him his first political book which taught him you know the 13 judicial branches or whatever i don't even know what it is like but the reality (laughs) is that 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 seven-year-old knows more than (laughs) me (laughs) He does know a lot. He does know a lot. He does know a lot. You know, it's just unfair to discredit children, especially with mental health health nowadays. It's you know, you never know if any what any kid is going through. It creates insecurities. Yeah, no. And that's what I saw in my seven year old first grade nephew, which is like out of control. Like it's just sad, you know. I as being women. In the reality of it is women have more confidence than men. That's the reality of it. And, you know, for a woman to stand up and say, I want to be president, this this little girl, this child, has confidence. You know, Henzo saying it second and not as faster. Maybe he didn't, you know, think about the question beforehand. But, you know, it, it really shows, like, how teachers are nowadays. And it's just kind of like, I don't know little suspect it's definitely uh it's definitely going to create like a lasting impression with him if if he did break down and cry but you know what i actually read something on twitter the other day actually it was this morning and it was this <clears throat> hispanic student and he was it was on twitter you know how twitter stuff goes viral whatever and he said oh, i just got into law school and i got a fifteen thousand dollar scholarship for my dream school and my fifth grade teacher told me that i would never be a lawyer when i told her what i wanted to do she said you no you wouldn't be a lawyer so this kid wrote an email to his teacher when i guess the day he got in or something and he's like hey you know i just wanted to let you know like this is what happened. You might not remember, but I just want to thank you because you having doubt in me made right. me try so much harder. That's awesome. And uh, guess what? I got a scholarship and et cetera. So these things build us, you know, it's just like it comes into play. They I'm definitely, sure they definitely mold us. Um, but try explaining that to a seven year old. It's just right. like annoying. Like yeah, I get that. Course. I know that. You know, but he's still like, ah. I'm like, oh my god. Like, I mean, you but how many of us right have... now? This basically means you're going to be president at this. <laughs> <point>. like, <laughs> yeah, literally. But how many of us have had like a teacher that has doubted us or told us that of we were going to be anything? Yeah, or that's told like the us, like, that's like a new thing. I saw that on Twitter. It was like, yeah. uh, uh, my teachers told me I wouldn't get paid to stare out a window. And uh, my friend posted that, and now he works for like the Port Authority, and he he sits in the Lincoln Tunnel and watches security cameras. So, w- if haters or not, do whatever you want. Um, go with your gut. Your body tells you what you want to do. Uh, you know, a lot of the times you feel like your mind is in control, but trust your body. You know, it, it you'll feel the love behind whatever you're working on. Um, whether it's you picking up a camera and taking photos for the first time or creating a podcast or cooking or reading books or gardening, whatever it is, your body will literally tell you that this is what you should be doing. You know, a lot of people go through high school or go through college and they don't really know what they want. Um, but it's, I feel like it's all in, in, in the passion behind it. Oh, I agree. And the only reason I'm laughing is because I have to pee so, so bad. So, go pee. so when so you're go saying pee. that, I'm like, my body's so telling me to yeah, go that's, pee. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a quick break. No, don't, don't stop it, though. We're not, no, we're not going to, we're not going to stop it. She's on a, she's on a, a, a timer now. Let's see how long this takes. How long, just, just for reference, that was the first 
uh, the first bathroom break at how long? Yo, it's been twenty one minutes and forty five. She had like seconds. three beers. Twenty twenty one minutes. So yeah, she hopefully she she watches this back, but. Um, just comment if you if you've made it to 21 minutes in this podcast. First of all, thank you. But you've experienced the first bathroom break. So let's see uh, over the look over the course of this podcast who takes the most bathroom breaks. This and you guys could che- keep track of uh, of the time. My lips to touch the microphone. She was speaking a little far Every when we were second. testing it before the test run. She was she was speaking like this far. You see how it sounds a little bit different than when you come up far. really close. Let's you get like that podcast sound. <laughs> we're not pulling up clips. We're not, oh, oh honey, clips, we're, gonna we're, stop about up. Yeah, no, actually, we're about to pull up. We're about to pull up. We're about to pull out be because really we pulling up clips. We stay pulling. We pull it. Yeah. Well, yo, like, yo, yo, we pulling clips, right? March right, right. Yeah. twenty second. Right. Yes, right. right. It's gonna happen a lot. We got receipts. It's definitely gonna be happening a lot. We got receipts. Did I just like delete the whole podcast? Wish something into weird existence. Like on that day. What do you mean? I said a, a day, like in the future. What day was that? March twenty first or something? Second. Because today's, you know, February twenty second. So I just looked up. The... I don't even know what day it is. I'm still in Paris time. Guys, it's two dash slash twenty two slash twenty 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 twenty. Awesome. I know, but two twenty 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 was like lit lit. Yeah. That's I think I think that day really changed a lot. That day, um, I don't know. Like that day was like really special. It was like really weird too. Like, um, that was the the next day after we landed from Paris. We came back on the nineteenth. No, wasn't it? Wasn't it? We came back 02, on the two o two twenty twenty. Wasn't yeah, that the day? Exactly. So it was basically two o two o two. Um, but I don't know. I feel like a lot of things like came into play that day. I was scheduled with a lot of meetings. Work was like different. I came back to reality. I went to work. Um, things were just. I don't know, like aligned. Everything was like aligning. Mercury started retrograding. If you guys don't know what that is, Google it. We'll talk more about that in another podcast. I'm sure that's like a hype thing. Now a lot of people know what Mercury is retrograding. But meanwhile, for the past decade, I've been telling my friends that Mercury has been <laughs> retrograding and no one gave a fuck about what that meant. But now people give a fuck because Vogue's writing articles on it once a month. It's a big deal. Um, But yeah, I don't know. Twenty uh, February 20th, 2020. Is that right? Yeah. Um, I think a lot of things change. I think a lot of things aligned. I think numbers mean a lot of things. I don't really know what that meant, but I felt it. I felt it in the wind. I felt it in the air. I don't know. And now we're finally doing this podcast after you and Yo and Tiffany and everyone helped out. There was a bunch of people that helped out with this podcast. It took probably, what, three months? (laughs) It feels longer. (laughs) It feels longer. It feels longer than three months. Um, Yeah, no, definitely feels longer than three months but i'm finally happy we're doing it and just at least getting the ball rolling um there's so many projects coming up right now especially with me and my life i'm so busy with my actual job i have side hustles on the side and just meetings after meetings and i feel like it's going to be a positive year already the year is almost one third done it's about to be march so that's like a little crazy too like things are just flying like flying flying which is a quarter like one quarter, yeah, exactly, a quarter, but still. She's back, Tiffany's back. She's back. So we were talking about how you took the first bathroom break, and and our audience is definitely going to take note um, on who takes the most bathroom breaks you throughout the episode. going to take note on how boring this podcast is without me. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> There's some serious conversations going on without you. Ooh, feisty. Yeah, but no one wants to hear serious, you know? Like, you gotta have to serious. always have that, that like, little pizzazz, that little pop, 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 that little, uh-huh, you know? Like, it just can't be so, oh my god. I agree with that. We did, like, three or four runs, and we changed the positioning of everyone, so uh-huh. hopefully... I looked, like, 300 pounds there, so <laughs> <laughs> hopefully... Yahtzee! Yeah, like, ding, 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 can Literally, we add, we like, sound effects to this? Oh, you can add your own. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is I can't wait to get my shaws. For your microphone? Yeah. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Mic check, sh- one, two, sh- one, two. Sh- I feel like I could actually, like, make a song like this. With this microphone? Hearing my, my fellow... I can make a song like My this. fellow... Hey, friends. All I gotta do is sing. 
You, you keep saying that we're going to make a song, like all of us. Is that I something just, that you want? Or? Uh, yeah. I've it's always like been heard goals since like 2010. Okay, I have binders of like years of like like different things, like art, sneakers, collectible Barbies, all this, like my thoughts, music. And I always wanted to make a song. That was something that like I've even what asked you like years ago. I was like, I want to make a song. It's true. But, but what I'm kind like, of song? Okay, so like this was like almost a decade ago when I really wanted to make a song. So I wanted to make what like the music is now. Like I wanted to make like a reggaeton Spanish, like EDM, like kind of like an Ellie Golden or whatever that girl's name is. But like I don't, <laughs> Ellie Goldberg or the girl that <laughs> with the bass neck there. Yeah, you no, shine I, the lights up, show me to Okay, something yeah. like that, but like hispanic <laughs> Based but like three. give me an example like i like it like that Cardi B with like or like yeah. an edm it's like a you know remember that song gold by yeah, kiera yeah, popped off for, for a little bit how did that go i mean i'm not about to sing you gotta do ask the audio it, major behind do the it. <laughs> but what, but, but how did it go how did it do you remember no nah, i can't even can't even remember I came um, and went so fast I don't, i'm trying to remember the song gold like dripping dripping no. Can I play it on my is phone? That no. Above? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Moral of the story is I wanted to make a song, and it's crazy because I, I, when I had written my notes, my mom's like, "You should just write notes." And the the lyrics that I had were actually pretty good. Um, but you know, you ha you need so many people, so many tools, and you know, I was smart about it because I never wanted to give people my ideas, and mm. they'd be like, "Yeah, give me studio. I got you studio time." But what happens is, is they end up mastering your tape. So anything you make in that studio, any beat you use, anything is basically theirs. So I never really wanted to like. I wanted to hold and sit on that, and then I never knew you wanted to be like I have an a actual artist. I, I knew you wanted to make a song, but I didn't think you wanted to be like a singer. But you see, like for <laughs> okay. me, I don't want to do that. I don't want to perform on stage and be like ah, Britney Spears. No, I wanted to kind of be like a ghostwriter or make it and mm. kind of just put it out there and see who clicked on it, who who wanted it, who liked it, the the vibe of it. But like total. What part of it did you not want? I'm stage fright. So for me, like I'm, hey guys. I'm, I'm a bitch. Look, we're yeah. looking in front of a camera right now. She's if you go on her Instagram, she's she's in front of the camera like every day. It's so I don't know how she's saying she's stage different. fright. But it's taking hilarious. a picture going like this model material is totally different from this. You're seeing the real me. You're for my example, real vision. the one time when we like did this charity, we like knew some girl <laughs> that was working at a hair salon. <laughs> and she's like, Oh, well, like Excuse do you me, your give them the background information, high end nyack beautiful five and five stars freaking money signs on yelp like literally this is a high-end place charity Our event charity event they're annoyed. like hey sweetie you know you have a lot of followers on instagram do you mind just it's real quick they'll do your hair for free whatever color you want this that and the third you go in you walk up you walk in like, you're oh, done you're in my and out. hair blue for free sure blue <laughs> i did like a, a gray purple hated the color but whatever it was they fine. did my hair in under 20 minutes so i'm like oh my god yes like uh, awesome i go over to ashley's booth they were doing her hair for this is like the second hour and i'm like it's like four hours you're still doing your hair they're like yeah we she wants something really specific i'm like oh my god i'm like well i gotta go and like i gotta go we have to do a runway show right now like i can't stay and stay behind for your hair she's like yeah don't worry i'll meet you there i'm like okay great so this was supposed to be a sister thing and of course it's just like well they split us up immediately they're like um you're tall you're beautiful you're done so you're gonna go here and then i'm over here and they're like yeah honey we're gonna wait for you at the end and of course my mom our number one fan is like they're right in the middle like, Literally, and you She's know, like, honey, your hair looks great. I'm like, yeah, but Ashley's literally taking five and a half hours to do one thing. So like. they start the thing. I run up last minute. My sister goes, and she's just like, it's a runway. It. She's just like, like model material. Like, you have walks to walk up. down a runway. Stop. There's lights like this. There's over five hundred. Stop. There gives the vibe. Gives the look. Girl, come on. Looks you know, up. Like, looks around. Turns around slow. I'm tall. Walks I'm away. Just like, you know, then there's like groups of them, and then finally it's me, it's my go, you know. Yeah. And I'm, we were in I different groups, it was did, like a candy I never did this vibe. before, okay? I modeled it on camera, but I've never like modeled live, right? right. So I walk out, <laughs> stage lights ever, and I'm like, okay, I don't know anybody here, I don't know anybody here, so I, I just walk like myself, and my mom's like. 
And I'm like, no, uh, and I'm just so like, for, for you guys that were listening on audio only, she was like, no, no, don't, don't. That's yeah. My that's mom's like lipping it. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Go. No, stop, I, think, I think my mom was basically just kind of like dumbfounded. And when either of anyone in our family is thinking something, it comes right off our face. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You're blowing it. You're blowing it. And Ash is on stage like, what do you mean I'm blowing it? And like what literally walking, and I'm like, what? Like walk up, so go there, bad. go to the front. So walk Bad. back and it was like so quick and the lights and everything i really wasn't i really didn't know what i was doing and like it was my first time and then you know after i get down i'm like okay i'm done finally and, my, and then i see my mom she's like the fuck are you doing up there your sister fucking nailed it and you look at look at the deer and she's, she's like, like actually like, honey no you, you. and i'm like so if she noticed everyone else noticed yeah for sure yeah but it just i mean it wasn't show, like terrible it wasn't terrible it wasn't but like but it was kind of ironic just like, that like my sister who's never on camera never does anything she hate fucking it killed it. so at that moment like, you you realize you didn't want fame from I think like, I had to pay my act. sister to actually be there <laughs> yeah I'm not even <laughs> literally like come on Tiff do this anytime never. I got a gig I'm like you're coming with me do my hair do my makeup and I'm like come on just do it I brought her the second outfit and she would just be forced to do it my no, mom would be like that you have was to do like, it with your sister no that was like the one time I'm sorry Eric we're like you're, no, no, you're no, not like involved cool. in this I've never heard these stories this is cool but one time Caesar Ash is really good friend who's like in the model industry in new york city and he's like there we're doing this video they need a girl and ashley you have to do it and ash just begs me she's like tiffany please do my hair and makeup i need you there i need you as my entourage i'm like absolutely on one condition i will not get in front of a camera and i will not do any of this dumb shit that you're doing and she's si- like okay cool s- side note my mom obviously is coming with this yes, my number like one fan man, and um i secretly pack so i'm crazy so they're like white top black bottom shorts tank top so me i'm psycho i pack like three of the same outfits different sizes different colors just in case i just don't know like it was what? basically a christmas commercial for some stupid ass brand i don't even know and it was like a jingle so like there was like four people and you had to like learn a dance and you're like jingled this and you're in front of a camera <laughs> so and corny. and you know this like poem these they had to memorize this Lions poem so i go in everything. with her and i see some french guy talking to my sister wait wait no no they will go down that way we need so we need to. and she looks at me and she's like dude and i i'm like i'm, I'm like i'm not, the only girl here you have I'm to come i'm not I'm like, doing I'm it like, dude I'm there, not it, there's doing three it. there's three guys and me i'm not i'm not doing it. you need to be here literally like, and they're like oh the girl didn't yeah. come this See, and like well i don't have clothes and i'm like well i go in my backpack i got a spare outfit just extra just small <laughs> i'm like 10 times bigger than her even at my I best weight anyways. she's like five two i'm like five seven so i'm like are you fucking kidding me they're like we'll give you a 250 dollar gift certificate oh, and man. this this was like a luxury <laughs> ass a she was like alley. 16 like literally illegal like you had to be 18 i was like uh i really don't want to do this ash i'm really just not in the mood i just wanted to do this not even Long 10 minutes short, later and ended, ended up learning a jingle ball dance oh, going man. left and right it was fucking embarrassing <laughs> perks was... of being my little sister anyone want to <sighs> so yeah that's just i don't even know where we were going with that but camera that's shy just, uh, me being camera shy because i am camera shy like I'm this def- is yeah. fine because it's like my friends and like i i like them and i love them <laughs> but like when there's different people there that i don't know i can't even like go up this on, is the like, worst thing for me i hate being in front of a camera and you just like have to pretend like no one's there even though like millions of people are gonna be watching this it's like there's literally one person right there, so it's just awkward for me. But when there's actually millions of people there, I'm like, yeah. Well, some people aren't going to be watching us. A lot of people True. are just going to be listening to us, Answer. and they're only going to know us by yes, our voices. So I think that's pretty interesting. I don't know. I think that once people hear us, yeah, they're gonna there's, put there's this pieces. kind of fetish where you kind of want to see what Whoa. the person looks like. Yeah, fetish. yeah, yeah, yeah. Selena like, Gomez. you know, like... I think that, like, when you hear someone talk and you're like, oh, okay, like, she said that, or like, oh, that was You think we have distinguishing voices where people can, like, differentiate? I mean, Yo definitely does, right? I mean, yeah, I guess. (laughs) I don't. Just kidding. I think can you tell the difference between me and her voice? Because that's yeah. gonna be an issue. On the phone. Really? Sometimes on the phone. Yeah, sometimes on the phone you guys. But what about something. like now? Yeah. Right now, right now obviously. It's yeah. Who's talking? Difference. Who's talking? You guys talk Who's talking? Who's talking? Who's talking? Who's talking? I can tell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, because that sucks. I don't want people to think I'm you. No offense. Definitely don't want people to think you're me. <laughs> for sure on that. 
We, we clean, but we good. Belches we good. into microphone. <laughs> <laughs> that not me. That <laughs> her. <laughs> it doesn't matter what microphone Tiffany sits behind. It's always a problem. It doesn't matter. It's just, it's just, I tighten Breaks all of them. You know, drops beer on Yo electrical. Hopes. It doesn't matter. Sorry, sure. I'm sorry. On all the test runs, they, they've all... Prop. It's, no, it's not a problem. A, I just, it's, it's fine. No, I know. It's, 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 a, it's a problem. It's a personal problem. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Question. Did anybody see the movie Parasite? Or no. no. I've been meaning to watch we that. We got to get on We should that, watch yeah. that tonight. We got to get on that. Let's Where watch that tonight. I think Amazon Prime. Is it? I think it's still no. in the movies, no? We no, can I find it online Amazon for Prime sure. I mean, yeah, you gotta, like, buy a Babe, check it. it. Can Who cares? Can't... What's your broke ass can't throw $4? $4, $4, $4, $4. How about this? I'll buy. Hold on, it's not in English, right? Well, it's in... The subtitles are. Yeah. Oh, it's in English. Yeah. Nothing but the subtitles. How do you feel about it? I love subtitles. First of all. First of all, close and personal. Foreign film. Fuck yes. Foreign... We are... A foreign film podcast. Am I speaking? I wasn't done. I wasn't done. Let me finish. Let me finish. (laughs) Foreign film. Fuck yes. Asian foreign film. Fuck yes. She's giving a blowjob to the microphone if you can. Asian foreign film. I'm going to give you top three. (laughs) Tales of Two Sisters. Tales of Two Sisters. Old Boy. And there's another one. It's he's an FBI the grudge, agent. No, 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 no. He's an FBI agent. Oh, f- oh, what is it called? Oh Say it. Speak it. Maybe I know it. A- a- Asian FBI Asian. These are all Korean, by the way. Asian FBI Asian and his wife. A- called. You keep Asian saying Asian, Asian FBI, FBI Asian. FBI Asian. Asian. Agent. <laughs> Asian FBI Agent. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, no, we- Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Cultural appropriation. Please. Ready. Cancelled. Fuck you. No. Um. Oh, Asian oh. FBI Agent. Wife calls him. She's pregnant. Driving home. Pulls over. Van comes right behind. Knocks on the window. Help, help, help. And she's like, oh, oh, oh. Next thing you know, she calls her husband, <laughs> looks back, crack, window open, pulled out, blood all over the sidewalk. Is she dead? Watch it. What is it well, called? I gotta, what is you, it called? I gotta find it. Hold on. Well, here, watch, watch this movie. Watch this There's a great five gotta minutes watch. of the fucking <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> but I'm gonna be pissed because I know I, it, I know, it's something Look winter. for the movie. Look for the movie. Okay, Side go. note, Tale of Two Sisters is, uh, if you've ever seen The Orphanage, no, Have you ever seen? seen uh, I think it's the uninvited. The uninvited. Oh, the uninvited. It's that. That's the American version of, Wait, Tale of the of one Sisters. that you just said. No, or... no, 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 no. There is an Asian film, an Asian, fo- or let's just say a foreign film, an Asian foreign film. Okay, no, we'll just say it, a foreign film <laughs> that is. Uh, it's called The Tale of Two Sisters, and they made an American version that's called <gasps> The Uninvited. It's called I Saw the Devil. The one that you uh, actually described. This is the, the FBI one agent one. Describe. Tale of Two Sisters is kind of like The Uninvited. Where, that sounds scary. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> you need to... This First of all, Tale of Two Sisters, it was the, one of the first Asian films I saw. And that was the most most breathtaking film. I won't ruin it, but let me tell you, that movie... Nah, it's kind of crazy. ...is amazing. It you're You're scared. You're crying. Not even any blood. Actually, there's a lot of blood. Um, <laughs> it's, it's so it's, gory. What? It's <sighs> Korean film, foreign film alone. I I really I love it. I love subtitles. I think you need to re- rewatch it a couple of times to really right. understand. Because I feel sometimes I catch myself only reading, reading. and wa- not watching the movie. Yeah, right. Right. Um, but with Parasite, going back to Parasite, what I was reading is that there's not much speaking in it, so it's kind of good because it's mm. all film I love work. That. Okay. Which I is feel even like better. honestly, I feel like when I'm, I mean, ma- this might just be me, but I feel like when I'm watching a foreign film, I try and understand a hundred percent the language instead of just reading. Like obviously, I have to read because I don't know the language, but you can almost like context clues I and agree. see like what they're doing. I like agree. if they're like. Ha, hi, ha. Like you're just like, oh shit, they're upset. All right, what are they upset about? But Let's we try also, and figure this but out. But we've like, also grown up with a, a heavy 
a heavy deal of Asian Koreans, to be exact, around our area in our school. So I personally feel like I understand. Well, Korean. you basically I, know Korean. I, I, I mean, do. I'm like know. trilingual. Yeah, I understand she's Spanish. Not, she's she's been sign with language, Koreans her whole Korean. Time, like. I hang out with diverse people. I hang out with girls from Patterson. I hang out with people from the Bronx. My best friend, who's completely white, basically married a Dominican from the Bronx, whose best friend and little sister was a stripper. Like, trust me when I tell you, like, I've seen it. But when I tell Which you. Which is cousins with my best friend growing up, a Dominican. Asians run it. Period. Anyways, that's all I'll say about that. But yes, foreign films. So uh, definitely watch that. Somebody. I saw The Devil, Tale of Two Sisters, and Old Boy. Old Boy is that one, that one film with like that, that really long that scene, one scene that, that one they shot. don't cut. Yes, I appreciate stuff like that. Yes, I feel like a lot of foreign films are crazy. I've seen so. Do you remember there was this film called Ginger? Oh my God! Yes, you know that it was that a foreign film? No, or? that was that? a shitty HBO film. Dude, that no, was on at that like was three o'clock in the I was morning. like three. They three made years three old. of those. Watching there was Ginger, Ginger One, Ginger Two. Wait, Ginger what three. was that? She was a cannibal. It was like you know she got no she got bit by something like a werewolf or something. She Dude, was like a weird girl. Crazy. She would like eat the neighbor's dog. Outside. She would like it was like Jennifer's body before. Megan Fox like yes, took that yes, role. Yes, it was yes, like yes. a two hot girls. One was like a redhead, and one was like an innocent like blonde brunette. I brunette thought. I thought, and like the the redhead was just like <laughs> try and like basically have sex with people, but instead like she would like, eat them in the backyard, and then they oh, would go so missing. Like, it was so weird. It was so creepy, but to, it was like, a good movie. I, I wonder if it was foreign. It wasn't foreign. I promise. So, would you <laughs> rather be a singer or an actor in a movie? Because your fear is. The, the uh, like the whole camera thing and like the famous part of it, but both have those, you know, I yeah, guess, movies, negative parts of it. Movies are different, though. I think <clears throat> with acting, you can build a relationship with the people that you're performing in front of, and like for example, right now, I feel comfortable with my sister, sure. and I feel comfortable with you. I feel comfortable with you, so I can be myself. But like <laughs> being like here, being like. Amazing Grace. We actually like, filmed. We were once in like a Netflix filming. Oh my god! And another it, story. <laughs> was, it was the most awkward. Another thing that I was dragged to. For literally, literally dragged. No I reason. Had to pay her. I'm like, come on, dude, come on. So I don't know how. I it's, okay. Wait, hold on. Let me just get my point, and then you can tell the story. Moral of the story. I mean, moral of the point of the story is that. We were filming, and they're like, yeah, you guys are going to be in a dance scene. It's going to be this crazy dance scene from the 80s, and we're going to play the music for two seconds, and then after that, you just kind of have to... That's the music that you're dancing to. And I'm like, wait, what? So they cut the music after, like, two seconds, and it's literally maybe 75 people in a ballroom just... Dancing to no music? Dancing to no music. And it was literally. So, how do you guys I, pace yourselves? Like, I don't know. We were on stage, so like, weird. freaking strippers trying to Perfect dance. And I'm like, one of those, uh, musicless raves where everyone yeah, just with the headphones. headphones on. It, yeah, except it was. See, but that's different because you're actually listening to music. Yeah, there's like actually this. sound. Like, well, you know, there's always that one guy without headphones. Yeah, that weird. So they, like, played no, a clip and it was just like, okay, now you have to just. Kennedy! 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 You took your dump? I think he wants to be picked up. Um, yeah, that was a funny story too. One of so I used to be obsessed with that show Mob Wives, and I wanted to create a mini Mob Wives that would be like kind of like New Jersey housewives, but we're not housewives yet, but we're still like mobbed up because we're from Jersey. And somehow one of the one of the Mob Wives ended up following me, and she like posts. She's like, Natalie, it was Goop. Natalie Garciani. Graciano. Anyways, yeah, her. Super cool. She has a miniature dachshund. Shout out to people that have miniature dachshunds. Shout out to anybody who has a dachshund, period. Gang, gang. Dachshund gang. Um, yeah, we she ended condone, up putting... We don't some... condone uh, gang Oh, yeah, that's right. Just cut that out. Anyways, so we ended up... Kennedy! No, no, no. Not by the wires, baby. Get out like, of let me destroy this podcast. <laughs> Um, she put up a post. She's like, "Yeah, looking for like Italian, looking blah." And I'm like, "Can I be? Can I look Italian?" My mom's like, "I don't know, honey. Figure it out." So I'm like, "Tiff, come with me. I'll give you fifty bucks." Blah blah. They're gonna pay me. Bullshit. Never really paid me. I think I took off from work that day. Like we go, 
and they see me and my sister and of course i have again all the outfits they can imagine so we buy these like american what apparel so, american- so what's going on in the background right now just i'm sorry not to cut you off what's going on in the background is kennedy's trying to hide his bone which is what he always does Podcast. this is like he, our life too he like- tries to dig under invisible dirt <laughs> and then he tries to put the bone. So he was trying to use the curtain that's behind us it's right now. Dirt. And he's trying to go like in my backpack right now and, and hide his bone. And he thinks no one's watching him. Yeah. And if and he notices once, yeah. you watching, <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll leave, go and he'll move like to he a just different left. spot. Close the door. Yeah, we should lock that door. He's going to start crying. It's, it's the funniest thing. It's so funny. He puts it in like piles crab of clothing. Crab and... babe. Do the little boy he's voice. To go back out now. Do the little yeah. boy voice. Crab Do... baby, crab baby, come out. Kennedy, Kennedy is uh, what type of dog? He's a wiener dog. A wiener. <laughs> he's, he's a miniature dachshund, brindle, blue, marble dyed, beautiful. Firstborn of his name. Actually, Kennedy is Kennedy. His, his, his litter only has <laughs> boys. I think him. he has what yeah. four brothers? Yes, he has, he four, has brothers. four brothers. He's the runt of the Kennedy. The no. So he, Kennedy is very look at him, look at tough. Him. He's rough. He's the runt of the family. He was beat up. I remember my sister's like, I'm going to get this dox and look at him. And I'm like, the one that looks dead? <laughs> and I was like immediately like Literally, concerned. such a buzzkill. Like, like, I was just like, dude. like all, So sure all the other doxes, they had. had him was really messed they, up, though. They, he was like on his face. They, they had like Come a pool. on, it was like literally like five puppies all snuggled together. They just got pushed out of their mom's fucking JJ. There was like, like, a, there was, like, was like a pool. Was against the floor. Like, yeah, there was like a pool down. where they would like feed them. And this guy would go like kind of Facebook live. He would like record them and see what they did. And we would always look for her specific dog. And I like was always hesitant. I was like, dude, that dog like isn't eating. That dog is getting trampled by the brothers. And the little and the brothers would physically jump on top of him, hit his head. I'm rolling my kick eyes for around. the people who aren't watching. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like crazy because I'm like, dude, look at your. This is the dog you want. The one that's yes, stick that's up for the himself, dog that I the want. My brindle beauty eating, bear. The yes. one that's like dead in the corner. And she's like, why? The thing why? is though, is that when people she wants the best, right? Like everybody wants the best. But but like, shut up! Like I'm getting the dog, even if he dies in my lap when I get him, I'm getting him. That's it. Doesn't matter what. You Literally, like Kennedy. she's like, I'm gonna. T- oh, she's Kennedy's like, with, with Yo. She's like, I'm. She's like, if he's sick or not, he's my dog, and I'm taking him. Yeah. Ended up being ride or die. Dog. He's my literal. I have, a, one. I have a question for you guys. Would you pay to be able to speak to your dog and be able to? Hear yes. what your dog is speaking. Yes. Yeah, would pay for anything. sure. Yes. Do you think it would change the relationship Absolutely. with you and your dog? Yeah. Yes. Better. Yeah, he would be like, "You're a piece of shit." He'd be like, "Mom, yeah. you're Take a me bitch." Me out on a walk. No, because and... that's the thing. Like Kennedy's real weird. Like he doesn't like walks sometimes. Like if it's cold, he doesn't want anything to do with it. But you can't tell with his body. No, I'll tell you. No, he's weird sometimes. No, he's bipolar, <laughs> and I think he has Tourette's. He has like little anxiety frickles. Like he'll he'll be like, eh, eh, eh. like if if he doesn't want to be pet, you'll know it. Like if he doesn't want to be there, he'll move. Like he is his own person. He he says how he's he says it Kennedy! all with the way he acts. He's not afraid to be himself. Hi, baby. Definitely not. Dogs, dogs or cats. Dogs. Dogs, all day. dogs or die. I've had personal problems. I don't cats trust you if you have a cat. Unless you rescue I it. think we're all dogs. You people, right? Right? Yeah. I like cats. It's not that I don't like them. It's just like, I think I'm allergic to them. I'm like, scared like, of them. That's what it all comes down to. They're That's smart as fuck. Is, you know? They're like fucking Batman, evil. You know, like I wear what I'm scared of. Ebay, so I'm like cat man, I guess, because I'm horrified of cats. I've been beat up by cats, and one of my biggest fears is a wild tiger. It's like, oh my God. imagine like, walking you don't into even tra- my eyes, You only yeah. travel domestic. Yeah, <laughs> how are you going to run into it? <laughs> there's yeah. never there's left been the tigers country. that have escaped. Oh, fuck, I just said his name. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> you know, so. ASMR, ASMR, ASMR. Okay. Well, I hope Girls. that you guys. When are you guys gonna get over that? Uh, never. never. It's gonna be on every every podcast. Oh, ASMR. Yeah.
ASPR, 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 ASPR. I keep getting the words wrong, though. The letters. I'm like, What is it? It's ASMR, audio somatic reiterate. Yeah, I don't know what it actually stands for. <laughs> so if you're watching this and, and this is actually on the internet, I think that we all agree that this is good enough to go on. Again, this is just the first test. If you've made it this far, I think we're probably like 50 minutes into this episode, which is Woo! which is a really long time for the first one. Follow. Uh, we thought that, that we weren't going to make it past 30, but here we are almost at an hour. So if you guys are listening to us on audio only, wherever that is, again, this is a visual-based podcast as well, so you could jump over and see what all of these faces look like wink um, and you could also see Kennedy who's probably going to be in a lot of the episodes <laughs> yeah we're hot here I go again on my own oh, sorry they guys. both say they don't want to be singers or actors but it's been, it's been going a lot down of the only road I ever know okay girls I for real that you hurt my drip ears I was born to walk alone I'm oh sorry God. yo we don't have auto no, tune no, no, like no, your I'm, broke I'm bitch ass boy. oh it's your auto tune ass we're confident in our voices and in our image. Okay. He changes his voice a lot. I don't know. I don't know if there's two people behind that. It's no, it's 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 one person. Cool. I think I think we're gonna cut if it here. We're looking gonna... into the camera. A S M R. We're gonna continue. If you're making eye contact reviewing. with Tiffany. <laughs> we're gonna continue A-S-M-R. filming. A-S-M-R. We're gonna continue A-S-M-R. creating A-S-M-R. podcasts for you. Again, thank you if you've listened this far. Thank you, especially if you're watching us yes. and the visual thank you guys so much, based seriously. podcast for real. Like, really follow, really like, and like and subscribe. Do share, all of that fun comment shit. Whole comment a whole bunch of comments. I'm just gonna let talk us know any Eric. topics that you want to let us speak about. <laughs> Eric likes um, putting his lips on the black thing. It sounds better if you talk a little bit closer. <laughs> Wait, it does sound. Does it sound better? It when does. Sound better when my lips, when, when I'm I suffocate it, when I'm making oh, out with my oh, my oh, <laughs> This is Omnia Podcast. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much.